All right, guys, what is up? It has been a really long time. Uh, haven't really filmed a whole lot this summer, mostly because the injury that I had at the end of the snowboard season, messing up my ribs and my neck a bit, my ribs took a really long time to heal. Nothing ended up being broken that they could see on the x-rays, but it just hurt for a really long time. So doing any kind of like, anything that kind of activated my stomach, like a crunch or anything like that hurt for months. And so finally got it back to where it feels good. Uh, I've been taking it relatively easy because I'm actually getting married in a couple of weeks uh, from when you guys will see this. Um, just kind of wanted to give a cool little update because I was able to, in the time that I got hurt in that end of the season, was actually able to make another wake surfboard from scratch. Um, this one, I wasn't able to film like the other one that I did that I just know is gonna be terrible. So haven't even written that one. Uh, all of the GoPro batteries that I had of the official GoPro brand all swelled up randomly. Couldn't tell you why. They've been inside of the house, normal temperatures, nothing insane all year. And it happened on my old GoPro 5 and the GoPro kind of like 8 slash 9 batteries. So uh, didn't really get too much to film on this one, um, which is unfortunate because this one turned out so much better than the last one. Um, went through, gave it a full five fin setup so I can have this one set up as a uh, twin with just using these two. Uh, you can go quad with using these outside four, use the thruster so you've got the two plus one. And if I really wanted to, even though the fins that I have are way too big because they're meant for like surf surfing, uh, I could probably put all five in. Doesn't make any sense, but could do it. Um, did the dye job myself, first time using uh, synthetic dyes in epoxy. Turned out pretty cool, uh, obviously a little kind of splotchy. And then also realizing that uh, there's a reason why um, actual glassers will uh, put down the epoxy with the dye first, then cut out their fin boxes. I don't really like that idea, even though like I'm not doing anything super crazy. I like the idea of having the fiberglass go over top of the uh, fin boxes so they don't tear out. Um, but yeah, so I've gotten this thing out a few times this summer, uh, all trying out different um, kind of fin setups and also kind of figuring out how this board rides. I made the mistake of making this board a little bit too kind of surf-like. So the midpoint of where uh, the widest point of the board is is a little bit too far forward, which means that when you have your feet on this board, instead of having your feet at the back where you normally would, you kind of have to have it a little bit forward, a little bit more like speed wise, because this board uh, is, yeah, just where it likes to go is a little bit more forward because the volume gets a little bit more forward that way. Um, there's probably a bunch of other reasons why that is uh, that I'm not aware of because this is only the first successful board I would want to say, because the other one's not so great. But uh, yeah. Uh, had a, fun, a ton of fun riding it. The different fin setups are kind of fun to ride. I got it out and I didn't get any video of myself riding it, but I got some videos of my friend's friends riding it. Um, had it in the thruster setup, really good for going straight, um, pretty consistent. And then uh, got out in the video that you guys are gonna see, and I'll kind of narrate over this. Um, I had it in the quad setup, so I had um, two large fins two small fins and then, uh, and just tried that one out, which I liked uh, better than the thruster. It seemed a little bit faster, a little bit more nimble, which for me, uh, just trying to get good carves into the wake, uh, felt really good. And then I think someone might've got a few photos of it, but I didn't get any video of it. My favorite setup after this, I'm the third time I rode this board, as I put it on just the twin setup of just the two front fins, and that was by far the best that I, it felt the entire time. So um, yeah, got some video of me riding, felt really good. Just trying to honestly like get some good carves in and then, yeah, and then trying to get some air, which is proving to be a little bit more difficult than I thought.
Yeah, once I was done, because I was honestly, my legs are pretty gassed, uh, our friend Colin got on and he is super cruisy, super like got great turns and able to keep his speed up on this board, which is sick. Um, and it's also just rad for me to watch and see how the board reacts in the water compared to other boards uh, that I've seen and kind of videoed and photoed before, so. <laughs> But yeah, guys, so uh, I know that it's been a while. I've got some reviews of some bindings and gear that I've been putting off for a long time because I filmed a bunch of stuff, lost that footage, but I'm gonna refilm that pretty soon. Those should be coming out in the fall just before all the uh, new gear is coming out. So hopefully that'll help you guys if you guys are looking to get new gear. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so that's gonna do it for this kind of like weird update video. And uh, yeah. Pretty soon here, it should have uh, reviews up for some of the gear I was riding last year. I had a bunch of stuff filmed in the spring. I lost all that footage, no idea where it went, so I'm refilming that now pretty soon. Yeah, if you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more, uh, subscribe, and have a good one, guys. Peace.